citizens of the reject nation, it is time to go to war. Ooh. World War II. Justice Society, Justice League, World War II, which is it? I don't know, but I'm excited. Have I you seen this? I'm excited, too. I have not coy. I feel like every so often there's an entire surge of new people that are like, why are they rewatching these? And I got to say, hey, not it's a first-time first watch. First-time watch. Never, Never seen, seen them. Seen We're approaching like 30 of these. I know. It's trippy, man. Pretty exciting. We're through powering through. A journey together. We it's have, almost we've like we've been to war, war with the villains two. of the DC universe. At least a couple times. We've seen a lot of continuities, a lot of Hawkman not talking. Today, that might change. Maybe he'll speak a little bit more than Black Bolt. We'll find out. Leave in the comments below what you want us to watch next. We have begun our Tomorrowverse journey. Also, always remember to hit that notification bell to find out when we got more of these. And like, subscribe, share this with your friends so we can keep making more of these because that's how it works. And we also want to thank Prepper for editing the reaction because without them, it's a lot of us staring at a screen. And that's not nearly <laughs> as fun. Or is it? Thank you, Prepper, for making us look good. Without further ado, I want to remind you to also become a patron, too. Then you can watch this entire experience front to back, beginning to end, with our resting faces. We're very, very pensive, but engaged. That's how we rest and watch. That's I, obviously everybody knows. Uh, I think that's going to do it because we've we've been to a con. We've had a Batverse shirt. Mm -hmm. And now we go to war in three, two, Oh, cool. Mr. President, it's already. we have to act now. It's kind of like driving. Yeah. Through the city. <laughs> They've taken control of most of Europe and Russia. It's an invasion. He's been searching for ancient artifacts. Of course. You mean magical artifacts. What a maniac. Unless, of course, he's right. Yeah. I mean, both can be true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the team. Rex Tyler, known as Our Man. Ooh. Now, he's developed a chemical called Miraclo to enhance speed, strength, everything, an hour at a time. Damn. <laughs> Dinah Lance, a bit of a firebrand with sonic sound abilities that have gotten her shunned Ooh. by her community. She's just fully World War II Black Canary. Since yeah. attaining his powers of speed, Jay Garrick has been a full-time crime fighter. Carter Hall, an ancient Egyptian in a modern Egyptian's body, <laughs> claims this is his uh, <clears throat> fourth reincarnation <laughs> who will lead this motley crew i think i've got <laughs> someone in mind yes Ooh, let's i go. thought that was steve trevor what do you say mr president are you ready to end this war Dang. <laughs> nice yes <laughs> oh, Into i it. love it love the old school vibes i like when they commit to a choice Ooh, matt bomer oh yeah like, commitment is so key when you're making something like this. It is society. That makes more sense for World War II, but I wasn't certain. I didn't want to be wrong. So I went with both. It makes sense. It's society. Koi, you the had J one job to do. It's to know societies it's versus know leagues. everything, That's just the, It's a simple job. Somebody's got to do it. Makes more sense canonically. But then again, Wonder Woman being part of the Justice... It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> According to the trajectory of the sun, we should have the max amount of light if we set the blanket <laughs> here. You get a little shade. Gotta be a hot day, Metropolis. Oh, I should have brought sunscreen. Can I get your back? Very. Yeah. <laughs> Bread, mayo. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Oh, very. Do you think it might rain? I can grab an umbrella just in case. Very. Mary. Just. <laughs> you wanted to get out of town, away from my other job. What do you want from me? Is this just a fling? Because I. No, no, Iris. It's okay if it is, but I'm not interested. Oh. I love you. The best way to keep you safe is by making sure no one finds out. If you really believe that, then break up with me. Oh, I I'll make it up to you tomorrow. A hundred sandwiches. <laughs> Resistance is illogical. <laughs> it's not futile, but it is illogical. Not if you're Superman. Ooh -hoo. Uh -huh. Tickle him. <laughs> Is he immune to tickling? <laughs> cool shot. Nice. Oh, jeez. This is well animated. I'm enjoying the POV stuff. Help with the tentacles. <laughs> right, sure. Ouch. No. Yes. Whoa. 
accelerating projectile. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Recalibration. Success at 99%. It's gotta be so annoying to fight this guy. Yeah, just hearing your odds. <laughs> yeah. Never tell me the odds. Oh, grab it, Barry. Grab it. Oh, into the speed force. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Keep, Keep running. running. Follow, Follow my, my voice. voice. That Dr. Fate? Yeah. Whoa. How and why, I don't yet know. Cool. Does he end up back in World War II? Just would not want to fight her. Nope. Oh, yeah. Damn, they made her especially fast. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Ooh. <laughs> <A> ricochet. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bounce of dudes off the other fights dudes. in this is awesome. Yeah, consistently. Oh. Jeez, man. this must have come out after Wonder Woman. Yeah, the, yeah, the movie. So there's a lot of mirroring. Keep expecting to hear the whole. Yeah, right. Like Junkie XL, where are you? <laughs> ah. Right on time. What kind of crazy gun was that? <laughs> Did President Roosevelt send you? What's happening? Keep an eye on <laughs> whatever this is. Am I dead? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is the afterlife. <laughs> Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now's your chance, Barry. Bonk. Bonk. Whoa. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Dang. That was amazing. Speed slap a Nazi. I'm from the future. It's not impossible. I mean, with the speed force. What? Take cover. Oh. We got. Is it Tom Hardy up there? Don't show his face. Yeah. Steve. Steve. Yeah. Ah, you. Don't you hurt Steve? Whoa. Oh no. What do we just say? Based on the trajectory, the velocity, Hawkman's wingspan, he won't make it. No, oh, damn. Jeez. Oof. Good POVs in this movie yeah, too. Yeah, the lockout shots and POVs are amazing. Now back into the speed force. You got this. I wonder if the oxygen is different. I wonder why he's having trouble breathing. Wow. Oh, there you go. Woo! Teamwork, boy. I see you picked up another playmate. It seems I misjudged you. Thank you. Seems I also look past your very similar costume to our own flag. This this gentleman with the similar symbol <laughs> on his chest. Hourman, you and Jay with me on the ground. Carter, you and Dinah take the sky. And I can do nothing. If you really are from the future, we can't complicate the timeline. Oh, right. I've seen that movie. <laughs> I've been that movie. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the teamwork, little teamwork beats. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Not the bond shot. Not the bond intro. Yes. Shoison! Oh, I thought he said Shiza for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's the battle cry. Yeah. Shit! Future boy, this is Shakespeare, our war correspondent. Do I know you? This is Howard Stark. Also, Billy Shakespeare. Yeah, Billy Shakes. The real super. I can't hold this in anymore. Will you marry me? Good attempt, Trevor. 
Oh. Oh. Ouch. He proposes every day. And every day, she says no. Didn't take you for a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a new mission. We can't decode the intel. The Germans are looking for a new artifact. They're saying it's a game changer. Oh, no. A man with mystical abilities. They pulled him out of their camps and stuck him in a securely guarded castle in Bavaria. They say he can break any code. Problem is, he's insane. What are we going to do about him? Uh. He should stick with us for research. Aw. I'm really curious how, if this is part of that tomorrow verse, how this all ties in yeah. with, like, Flash not knowing the Justice League. Obviously, Batman was separate and Superman was separate. Maybe it will culminate in a big old league, finally. Was that the voice of the same Superman? That's a good question. I yeah. Think. I feel like, but I'm not 100%. Okay. Wow, Castle Wolfenstein. Let's move out. The slide God, every time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> if this goes haywire, blame the new guy. <laughs> Sharing the speed force and all that is interesting with time travel. Nope. Dang. Throw that plate at him. Or the whole table. Or to, yeah. He said you would come. This is yours. I'm supposed to give this to you. Who's, who sent you? You have to make sure it never happens. Oh. oh. Hunt! Oh, no! Shakespeare! Oh, oh That's dang. why he looked familiar to Flash. Yeah. And at the curl is these straight lines. I didn't recognize them. The mustache. Clever. It's the same actor, Coy. Oh, clearly the voice actor <laughs> that I've been not hearing this whole time. <laughs> yes, yes. They should know. They should know. He said, not he said, don't do it. Hey, what did they do to you? No. It's... It's... It can be. It's, it's it can. Oof. I know him from a previous life. Well, make him snap out of it. We're not equipped to handle it. They're all going to be dead. Oh. We need your help. My friend, can you translate this? Ooh. Ooh. Wow. It's Clark. Ah. It's Clark Kent. Interesting. You're Superman. It's me, Flash. How did you get here? Did you follow me through that time warp? Is this a rescue? Why do you have a mustache? <laughs> You're one of the most selfless people I know. I don't know you. In my time on this planet, I learned you look out for yourself. And journalism. In my time, something's different. What about your parents? Martha and Jonathan Kent died in an accident when I was three years old. Oh. I was sent to an orphanage. Oh, dang. What do they teach you there? I'm not in the past. This isn't a different time. Whoa. This is a different Earth. Oh, no. Crises on more Earths. There's so many crises and so many Earths. <laughs> that makes more sense for continuity. Yeah. By not making sense for continuity. <laughs> yep. Oh. Coordinates. No, he's not ready yet. Yes, he's received the package, but he doesn't know what it means. Huh? What are you arguing about Superman for? Please, do you know a way for me to get back home? Back to my universe? But this would be Earth One. The real Earth? <laughs> you may return, but you have another task ahead of you. And a lesson you must learn. Only then can you... No, I won't tell him about the League! Uh -huh. You should go. It's starting. Regenerate. Two, maybe three ships above us. Do they know we're here? We're about to find out. Is this the Justice Society's official submarine crew? Ooh. Have to sink some battleships. Whoa. Uh oh. Leaks toward aft. Engine room is flooding. Ugh. Nice, man. Janitor of the Justice Society. 
We have to surface. Is there any way to restart the engines? You have an extra 20 batteries lying around? I got a couple flashes. Oh. <laughs> there she is. What now? No Those subs took batteries. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Sweet. Uh oh, B. <laughs> I'm learning so many new things I could do with my power. I'm a brand new flash. Lock this behind me and flood the tube. Torpedo woman, you are just so beautiful when you're about to kick some Nazi tail. <laughs> you know, there is a captain on board. Let me make an honest Amazon out of you. Come on. Come on. That was a good one. Both of you climb in the tube. He's good at proposing. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. Cool. Nice. <laughs> it's raining depth charges. D3. D4. <laughs> you suck my battleship. Good job, Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh. No. Who are these guys? These related to Brainiac somehow. They've, they got that vibe. They got red eyes. Can't be trusted. Pull over. <laughs> what is happening? We had help. Some sort of aqua men. Ha! Oh, dang. Maybe they can be trusted with their red eyes. So is Atlantis in the Bermuda Triangle? That would make sense. That's why all those disappearances. Wow. Cool. This is so, like, sprawling. It's exciting because I don't know any of this canon, so it's like all new. Yeah, I'm loving this. I am Arthur, ruler of Atlantis and all of the oceans of this world. Why should I care about the affairs of those above? Because these Nazis will not stop until the whole world is theirs, above and below. As above, <laughs> so below. I think you speak true, daughter of Apollita. I will help you. There is something I have that might turn the tide in your favor. Ah, the tide, the tide, it's an ocean pun. He's got puns. The king of Atlantis made a pun. Ah. <laughs> yes. I see nothing. Quite. Ah, oh, damn it. Betrayal. Why, Aquaman? Why? Aqua Nazi. Atlantean magic is quite powerful. There's no use in trying to escape. Heil Hitler. Oh, no. Aqua Nazi. Aqua Nazi. A storm destroyed my ship. And the Atlanteans saved me. Little did they know that my particular talents would grant me control of their king. Oh. You set us up. The war is all but over, and you have lost. Enjoy the solitude of this prison. Oh. It's time to show those above what true power looks like. Should make his mustache shadow just a little more narrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it in a little bit. <laughs> I mean, he does look like the Aryan. He is pretty you know, much the, the ideal, ideal mensch. Yep. <laughs> yeah. blonde, blue eyed, should have known. Although, if we can somehow combine our energy, we might regain full power. How will that oh. bypass magic? Physics are universal, Diana. When I was younger, I could vibrate between molecules. Eh? Seriously? You can do that? <laughs> what the heck have I been doing all these years? I love the back and forth. Teaching each other how to flash. Yeah. Dang. Season. Yes. Where did your king go? I will tell you nothing, mouth breathing Finland. <laughs> I yield. <laughs> I yield. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> that was beautiful physical comedy. One of the guards said the King Aquaman is headed down to the trench. He's going to unlock some sort of cage. What's in the cage? A spin-off movie. It would have been a Black Manta movie, and we would have liked it. Yeah. It's good they're also committed to this sort of classic Hollywood lighting. Yeah. You know? Very much of the era lighting. Yeah, that, like, three-point, like, nose loop kind of thing. Talking to the shell. Who knows what might happen? What does this do? <laughs> Atlantean pressure suit. Cool. Yeah. Use your trident to focus your call. 
Unlock the gate. Bring the creatures. Seal our victory. Lock the gates. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, tried and twirl. Whew. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Come on, Flash, wake him up. Ooh. Not so special without your suit. Yeah. Crappy Namor. Uh. You're a strong oh. one. Don't worry. You'll get your fill of violence. Jeez. Wake up. Uh. 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 No. Something is wrong. Uh. My head. <laughs> uh oh, they got a power player. Uh oh. Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> Release oh, no, the cracker. They let out Chathulu. Yes. <laughs> the Elder Gods are angry. Atlanteans oh. always invading beaches. Wowie. We got hover tanks. Oof. How about a real fight? How's that for some sonar? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why are you watching? Yeah. Leave. <laughs> You've got a perfect view from the balcony, hun. <laughs> Let's watch the end of the world. Join the army. Fight Nazis. Fall in love with an Amazonian princess and end up in an Atlantean tank taking on bad guys. Steve Trevor, never complain about being bored again. <laughs> it was all in the pamphlet, man. You knew what you were signing up for. They warned you. Ah, Cthulhu. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, big flying shark boy. Yeah, it's like a shark and a stingray combined. There it is. Ugh. <sighs> Call Charlie Hunnam in the mech suits. <laughs> yeah, where's the Pacific Rim team? There's some Jaegers in here. We need the Jaegers. know who we haven't seen in a while. Oh. That Shakespeare fellow. Oh, no. Nah, he's back home writing news he stories, man. He is just man. typing away. Not gonna come back. Wouldn't help no out. No foreshadowing there. No, no, no. You have a suit to pay off. <laughs> These two. Hey. My hero. Oh, oh. no! No! Hawkman, you did so much talking! <laughs> That's the price we pay <laughs> for dialogue. His last moment is saving her and never talking again. No, 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 no. It's okay. You're going to be okay. Reincarnate. Promise me you won't give up on this. On life. Aww. On love. Yeah. Remember, it's the only thing worth living for. No. Save him with true love's kiss. Sayara, I'm coming. Oh. Oh, oh, buddy. Time to go ham. Unleash it, canary. Yes. Oh no. No, no. Crab monster. <laughs> Nice. Nice, man. Get it in the mouth or the on, eyes. Jay, come on. It's like one of those video game bosses. Yes. Sorry. I'm an American. <laughs> we don't do surrender. Nice. Merka. Go down fighting. Oh. Yeah. Steve. Jeez. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Dang. <laughs> Come on. You 
bonk him hard enough on the head. Keep bonking. <laughs> yes. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. By the face. You call that a scream? Uh. Yes. Oh. It's gonna peel flesh from bone. Oh Whoa, my god, it is gonna true. peel flesh from bone. Oh Whoa. Geez. <laughs> she just skinned that street shark. <laughs> Meanwhile, in well, the crab fight. Well, help over here. Crab battle. Perfect. <laughs> Take him bowling. <laughs> You're pretty tough on the outside. Yes. Come out. Take him Pat Man and then boom. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that was so metal. <laughs> so nth metal. Rest in peace. Yeah, ah. Steve. God. Steve Trevor's the coolest. No. I admire your bravery, but your fate will be like the rest. You have no business fighting with gods. Oh. Take it back. Oh, you're about to get Junkie XL'd. Dude. Yes! Come on. What's the key here? Set it enough! Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you did this. You should... Yeah, that's, about that's your dog. That. You should probably call him back. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yep. Oh. Whoa. There you uh, go. But we're just gonna leave. I'm, we're so sorry. Just really just sorry about out. that. Yeah. Just following orders. It's all good. It's all good, everybody. You think this means you've won? You and your lead. Society. It's a society, man. The sound of failure. You're just a dude. Yeah, man. I guess he's got psychic powers. So he's not just a dude, but he needs MacGuffins and stuff. He's like the real Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even as great as his master race. No, oh, no, what? Damn it! <laughs> yes. <laughs> you okay? I'll be fine. Uh. Did he miss every major organ? Each with thing that three prong trident. We have to do something. We might not have to. Look. There he is. Hey. Shakespeare. <laughs> there he is. Nice. Does he have a mustache? Them tights. Is this the Justice League? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he shaved. He shaved. He shaved. CGI shaved. That's true. Yeah. If you look at his upper lip, it's, it's all real different. distorted. Jeez, man. The Uberman. You shaved. <laughs> Weren't you just a reporter? <laughs> I was. Am. But I couldn't sit on the sidelines any longer. I guess it was time to get in the game. Aww. I thought when the war was over, we'd. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. Only today. That's why we fight, right? <laughs> uh. So what do you say, Diana? Grant a dying man his final request. Aww. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. <laughs> oh. I wish I could stay, but I've got a world of my own that needs all the help it can get. Oh. You understood why I said no. I was wrong. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Uh, give him a little push. Wow. Whoa. Double flashes. 
Oh, oh damn! Right. So the moment he left, and he oh, that was cool. Yeah. Brainiac won't be the last to show up and threaten our cities, our world. But there are also others like us. If we stick together, we can keep the peace, fight for truth, the American way. Hey, they actually said it. Oh shoot, I forgot something. Glad some things haven't changed. Oh. I know we said that we could always have tomorrow, but whatever tomorrows I have, I want them to be with you. Barry, oh. what are you doing? Will you marry me? Yes. Oh. And it's just the right size as Wonder Woman. Aww. Cute. That was lovely. Cute. Stanicotic. Darren Chris was Superman. Matt Bomer, yes. I thought, was Flash. It was Darren Chris last time, yeah. Mercer is our man. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Liam McIntyre was Aquaman, so not a slowed down nope, uh, no. Fillion. <laughs> Someone else entirely that weird sounds. Choice. You're like, let's just drop Fillion an octave. Yeah. Oh man, I love that. I love that. I at no and it's such linear writing, but at no point did I parallel the Steve Trevor Diana relationship with his. Like that was the whole point, and I missed it, which I love. Yeah, yeah. No, this had like this was so rich, and it had so many different elements because, like, you know the. World War II threat is obviously very vital and very sort of snappy and engaged, but everybody's got a bit of a character story. There's romance to spare. Yeah. <laughs> and like actual, you know, not just people falling in love, but you know, like there's I love, like, there's backstory, there's like weight. Yeah. Like the whole Steve and Diana thing, like, was very charming, but also came with like a heavy cost. And. I'm curious, actually, because, like, you know, the the Wonder Woman portrayal here is very much, you know, is is a warrior woman. Yeah, a little who, more stoic. Has a bit more stoicism, a bit more stern. Um, Didn't bother me like it did in the, because uh, she's not not that. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. at no point did she feel like she was a warrior at the cost of her good. And that was my issue with the New 52 stuff was yeah. it felt like. Her being a warrior was like a blunt object, <laughs> like where she was like just she like she likes being yeah. a warrior. Whereas this is like this is this my is what duty. I have to do. Like yeah. the, like the one of the last things she said was like you know when this is over I want to investigate. Like that felt like that good was still there. Yeah, but totally. she had to be a warrior in times of war as opposed to the other one where it was like throw me at stuff. I'm yeah. rock. Let me like, at him. Let me yeah. At him. Like yeah. I, I don't like Scrappy Doo Wonder Woman. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so like this totally worked for me because it, it was still her goodness and even though it was accent like you know it was times of war. She was still under there. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I thought she, it was cool to see her leading the team. I thought she made like a good. I, I love the thing with Shakespeare Superman and having to, you know, sort of coax him into yeah. it. And then the alternate origin. 2021, this is recent. So it was well after the Wonder Woman movie. So, well, well, yeah. And I was wondering too during this if they changed up her accent specifically to sort of hearken to. Gal and I'm guessing in the tomorrow verse there is no Steve Trevor as he is canon dead. Uh, yes. So they definitely did the like you know time travel element, but in a different way. But also it was a different universe, so I guess there could be. I guess well, yeah, we haven't met our Wonder Woman. What I was wondering yeah, is that now I mean this certainly seems like it's setting that up, and and we know from Long Halloween that that is pretty you know isolated on its own. But so we've had a Batman Long Halloween, we've had a Superman introduction, yeah, and now we've got Flash and Superman as a way to start the Justice League, yeah. So and I like, gotta imagine whatever's next, there'll be like more present day justice. And this was members. two years ago, so I imagine this is like the universe as it is now, like whatever they're making currently. I guess so, I'm or, guessing. or or at least I don't know if the Tomorrow Verse continues because uh, they just released a new movie recently. It was like uh, something Batman Doom or something like that. Yeah. And then uh, they've got another Crisis movie on the verge that's oh, coming wow. out soon. Yeah, uh, I think they're doing. Crisis on some amalgamation some of Earths. How many Earths we got? We got some <laughs> infinite. We got a couple of them. We got some Earths. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, I mean, I'm just curious if the Tomorrowverse, you know, keeps going, or does it end before we get to the present day? Because we're close. We're 2021. This wasn't long ago. Yeah, I mean, we've got at least a couple more in this continuity, I think, at, at minimum. But Because uh, the next one in canon would have been Batman. Following this would be Batman. Okay, so yeah, now, yeah. so it went Flash. It went Superman, Flash, founding the Justice League. But Batman was was mentioned in Superman. Yes. And now we're going to meet Superman in order, and then whatever's next. Yeah, meet Batman, Whew. 
and then whatever's next. Keeping it all yeah. up here. Like, it's all going. And especially for the second installment to be like, okay, we're jumping into an alternate dimension, and there yeah, are that was a hell of a yeah, that aren't going to appear as they appeared here. I thought it was cool, because, uh, you know, sitting here and having seen various, recently seen various takes on uh, Barry going back in time and changing yeah. things with the Speed Force and all that stuff, uh, like, this was a really cool twist on all that that managed to hearken to those without being... Oh, flashpoint. we're just doing another flashpoint, but it's in World War Two. Yeah, it was a flashpoint, but in a totally different way. And yeah. it allowed for Wonder Woman to be in the second film without it being like the Wonder Woman we might have. Yeah, totally. And it's like I love that they had Barry as our sort of eye line, and I love that he fits into the story whilst also sort of, I don't know, still allowing like the rest of the Justice Society to kind of have that spotlight. Like he's a really good sort of comic relief. He's a good eye line for us. And it's really fun to watch him play off of Jay Garrick. But also, like, you know, I feel like you still get to have, like, the full brunt of just the fun and excitement of seeing, like, the Justice Society do their thing. And, uh, yeah. And this particular team I thought was really nice. Because it was cool to see Our Man. I've never seen him animated. Yeah, like Our Man, uh, 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 Canary. Uh, Hawkman Hawk Speaks. Man, Hawkman Speaks. And even he, like, I, I loved his little, uh, the moments between him and uh, Black Canary, you know, and, and, and her... Yeah, that bond there was interesting. Yeah, and that little subtle thing of, like, maybe she'll take off. You know, she in a, in a way that's never really sort of, like, obvious, they sort of make her out to be sort of, like, the most I on did the like edge that. of the team. And so, yeah, by the end, it seems like she more fully embraces it despite the loss of The Hawk moments Man. of rudeness with Strange. And, like, the, also, yeah, that glance I really liked. Yeah. I liked the use of of the invading uh, Atlanteans like we've seen a few times yeah. before, but in this context, it had that like storming Normandy, but storming Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, it really. Did. It, like I was like, are they doing the Normandy the invasion Deco with Santa, Santa Monica? Monica? Yeah, but and it worked for the story really well. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it works in terms of iconography because obviously blonde hair, blue eyed Arthur Curry. But yeah, but then, sure is Nazi. Yeah, but then having you know that little piece of of you know, almost Indiana Jones-esque historical fiction of, like, the Nazis are always looking for these artifacts and stuff, and they're always yeah. looking for, like, occultish magical ways to help their efforts. And what do they do? They found the Atlanteans and sort of brainwashed their whole fleet. And the torture elements were very much like what we know of the horrors of the Nazis. And, and I like that, like, they might have taken, you know, Dr. Fate, uh, sorry, um, Dr. No, Dr. Fate. Fate. Yeah. I said strange earlier, and I knew it was wrong, and then I corrected myself, and it felt wrong twice. I knew it was Fate. <laughs> don't don't at me. Uh, but Dr. Fate... We gotta Fate, get you back to your right time, Coy. <laughs> what universe am I in? <laughs> uh, but Dr. Fate being someone that would have, like, an artifact, and, yeah. like, someone they would torture for information, like, that all felt very appropriate yeah. to the horrors of what they built here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if, if you saw my Superman video, there's a lot of Jewish iconography in Superman because he was invented by a pair of Jewish creators who were coping with the horrors of the time, and... That's why I've always liked the, like, Superman versus the Klan comic and, like, yeah. certain elements of, like, you know, him fight Nazis is a lot like Captain America fight Nazis for me. It feels like this is the way it should be. So him him coming back then to take down all those planes and stuff was like, yeah. Yeah, it was a great. And, and like, a lot of really great, like, this also felt like a war movie and it had yeah. multiple sequences that harken to different aspects of different war movies. You have your stuff, like, out on you know, these crumbling European cities and things like that, and you're sort of no man's land type of, you know, like grounded warfare moments. Then you mm -hmm. have naval, like submarine and boat battles. Then you have aerial battles. And then you get creatures and stuff like that. But this sort of ran the gamut of all the different sort of places we had to fight in the land, in the air, the sea. And then, you know, you're, you're raiding this castle, which has like a sort of doom, almost like wolf and stuff, like less, you know, crazy heavy metal creature the zombies but you know it still has that sort of like wolfenstein yeah. exploitation-y kind of feel about it and uh and the action i thought was the like action really was so well shot so well shot and captured and like the power the best sets DPs. and everything yeah i know well i mean that's the thing i mean like it, it still is you're still figuring out lighting the frame you're still figuring out frames angles movement blocking the camera like this was forgive the pun, but it was so punchy and it had so much energy and flavor. Yeah, I really think this was one of the more specific ones. They made choices and they committed and they decided the theme and the tone and they like engaged with the audience the whole time and they still did it while having all these characters get their time in the sun. It didn't feel like the setting 
took over the characters, but it felt like they adjusted the characters accordingly in a way that was really on brand. Yeah. I really liked this one. This was really special. This yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah. No, I, I loved the I loved the combination of getting, yeah, the all the range of heroism and sci fi that you want out of your DC characters, but also a, a truly committed throwback to the World War II era. Like, Hope Constantine's in the Tomorrowverse because now at I this would point, love it. they've given us a really cool second movie swing. So I'm really, we don't know what's coming. So yeah. it's really exciting yeah, yeah, to yeah. see. Like, this is not something I would expect as a second movie. No. So I'm really curious what the Tomorrowverse becomes. Yeah. Because that means they did a Superman movie to launch, a Elseworld. And then a two-parter Batman. Yeah. What a crazy what the, journey. What is the pacing of Tomorrow this Tomorrow versus like, let's just go. <laughs> let's just do whatever seems we like, like it'll work. <laughs> yeah. Let's so, just like, chase our wildest So whims. far, I'm in. I lo- uh, yeah, I mean, I've loved uh, th- this Tomorrowverse journey thus far. And, I mean, certainly the Batman Long Halloweens have their own Batman-y kind of isolated quality. They certainly seem like they work on their own. But this, yeah. especially the way this in those brief uh, prologue and epilogue moments tied into the current timeline and, and Barry disappearing right before catching the bullet, coming back right behind him. so cool. So great. And, and yeah, like, even though... I feel like it would have felt more random if we were only in the past and never had this little the piece of connection. The bookends were really nice. Yeah, yeah, that worked. I, I love really this well. especially as a Flashpoint story. I like. Yeah. I, I knew when we watched, we started this with Flashpoint. I knew I liked Flashpoint stories. I did not know this would be one and how much I'd love it. So I officially love Flashpoint stories because that was a really special way to tell that. Yeah, I, I, I loved kind of every layer this was going for. Really, yeah, good well, humor, good personality, good everything, more, and the specificity. Yeah. Keep making specific stuff. If you got yeah. archetypal characters, you make a specific story because you got the trust of the audience in the characters. Yeah. Make more stuff like this, DC. This was awesome. Come on. Let us know in the comments. Uh, I did not look this one up to see if people loved it or hated it. Uh, a lot of times we watch these and everybody's like, well, that was the worst thing ever. So uh, it's really cool <laughs> to see, like, without knowing that, like, the the, the people's opinion. And then now I'm going to look up the people's opinion. But uh, let's get a patron of the day shout out before we boogie on out of here. Who we got? Gia. <laughs> Patron of the day, shout out to Garth McMurray. Oh. This gentleman with the yep. love of Superman. This gentleman must have loved the Shakespearean twist. This gentleman must have quite enjoyed the way it was handled and ended. And I feel like Garth McMurray also is, a, is an Elseworld guy. Oh, sure. Uh, so I feel like this was, was like a, the right one. I feel like this is the right patron to shout out as we begin this Elseworld journey. Uh, Garth, we appreciate your justice your league, your society, and your love of the American way. Yeah. Uh, much appreciated, Garth McMurray, as ever. Because, uh, yeah, this this feels like your cup of tea, so hopefully you've seen this one. Hopefully you see us talking about you here. <laughs> and if you haven't seen this one, you should go watch this one. Yeah, dude, but you shouldn't you have seen it without. Doing, I mean, girl. it wouldn't have made sense to watch us watch it in pieces. Hopefully you've seen it. Yeah. But we thank you very much, Garth McMurray, you super sexy reject. Much, much appreciated. You let us know also what you want us to watch next, because, yeah, I've been, I'm enjoying the hell out of these. Much love, y'all. That is going to do it for this episode of John and Coy Watch Stuff They've Never Seen Before and Quite Enjoy It. Yeah. Tune in next time as we discover where the Tomorrowverse goes, I assume. And that uh, what, a, what a swing so far. I'm, I've been digging it. We'll see you soon. Much love. Peace.